All right, uh, I guess it's time for some updates. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks, and uh, last weekend I have a damn good excuse why I didn't do an update. Uh, last Friday, uh, today's Saturday, so it was a week ago yesterday, uh, I was at work and I uh, was going up and down a ladder, and when I was coming down the ladder, uh, I went sidestepped onto a deck, and I missed the deck and fell and twisted my ankle severely and also drove a drill bit that was on the drill I was using into my arm about four inches. So uh, I spent most of uh, the uh, evening uh, last Friday in the emergency room and then all weekend I didn't do much at all. Uh, it was too much painful, I couldn't walk on my ankle, it was also cold, so I just took the whole weekend off. The bad thing is that's one more weekend that's gone. So I'm so far behind it's not even funny. My goal was Memorial Day to have this done. Uh, what's it? Uh, yesterday was April Fool's, so it's April 2nd today. So I've, I've got a lot of work to do and it's just me. So um, I'll get you up to date on what's going on so far. Um, I've got my ankle brace still on my ankle right now. And uh, my arm, you can see that that's where the puncture wound went in. This thing healed up, I can't believe how fast. Uh, going back this direction on my arm uh, for the longest time was so ro red and swollen, it wasn't even funny because that the drill bit actually went in and towards the back of my arm. I couldn't even move my my hand for the most of this week, so uh, I am recovering. Uh, I think I'm I'm okay enough to get back on this deal. Now, uh, I've had a change of plans on how I'm going to glue this uh, transom in. I think I'm going to mix up a mixture of uh, poly resin, uh, some chop strand. Um, this uh, what are they called? To look and see, refresh my memory. Chop fibers. Uh, I'm going to mix that in there along with coal, uh, uh, the uh, cabasil to thicken it up and make kind of a peanut butter like glue. And uh, I'm going to put it on both sides of the one side on the transom and on the, uh, the the boat skin. What it is is the boat skin has lots of undulations that are really really hard to fill, and I just don't feel comfortable using the PL plus. The PL, when you glue it and you you try to make a, a, a seam with it, when it cures, it bubbles up and it makes uneven spots, and it's really difficult to sand. So I'm going to try this and use it for uh, uh, filleting it, uh, you know, out the uh, transom and see how it does because I like the way this came out when I did this. So I'm real happy with it. Um, so I'm going to try that, but that, now that means I got to do a lot of planning. I've got to really plan my clamping. So what I'm doing is I'm laying out my clamping right now. Uh, so I'm going to have a, a short one on the bottom and I'm going to use the, them standing up on end like this. So I'm going to re-drill another hole. Actually, I'm going to recut this because this is going to be weak right here. Um, I'm going to drill another hole all the way through on both sides. So that way you don't want to clamp like this. You want to clamp like this because it's going to give you more clamping power over a longer distance. Because that's the way 2x4s have their strength. Um, and so what I'm going to do is as I come up, I'm going to make these longer. And on this side, I'm going to add... Uh, pads because you can see that I need to actually uh, uh, g give clamping power to this side. So what I was saying is as these go out longer and longer I'm going to add pads so therefore it gives clamping power you know on that outside edge uh, to push this down. Now uh, after I glued this together and um, actually uh, covered it I made a mistake and left it on my um, my sawhorses where basically now the wings, we call this the bat wing now, the wings are kind of up about a quarter inch all the way around so I'm really going to have to, you can see here, it's not, it's actually rotating so it kind of does this number. So I'm going to have to really clamp it good to hold it down because it kind of it kind of bent a little bit. I just hope that's okay but you know what at this point I don't have a choice. So that's what the transom's going to do. Like I said, I'm going to clamp it on both sides and use my all thread all the way through it. I've got lots of all thread and plus another piece right here to clamp it down. And I'm not going to act, I'm not going to clamp it like like tremendously to where it squeezes everything out. I'm going to peanut. I'm going to do about a quarter inch on both sides. So I'm going to slather on a quarter inch on here and a slather on a quarter inch on there. So it creates kind of a, a padding. Now I just hope that doesn't put me over my uh, my measurement. So that's going to put me just over two inches. So I mean we're talking two and a sixteenth, and then I'm going to put two to three layers of 1708. So that puts me right at my two and a quarter, I do believe, which is what Mare Cruiser wants for your thickness, including your transom. So I got to really watch that. I don't know if going over two and a quarter by an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch is going to make that big of a deal, but I'm trying to keep it at two and a quarter is my absolute maximum. Uh, okay, so what else do we have? Oh, yes, I took all the half-inch uh, plywood back to Lowe's and I got three, 
three quarter inch for my stringers. So I'm not gonna be doing half inch anymore. I'm actually doing three quarter inch. Uh, it's gonna add about 35 to 50 pounds of extra weight to the boat, but the strength that it generates and also the ease of wrapping the 1708 over the top is gonna make it worthwhile. Plus it'll give the boat a, a much stiffer feel. So with that being said, I've got lots of uh, cabasil, lots of chop strand. Uh, I'm gonna start mixing up. And actually, I'm going to finish cutting all my, my uh, two by fours first and get this planned because once you get this going, you, you got to keep going or you're going to have a problem. And I'm also going to mix this according to this to probably a 1% or maybe 3 quarter inch. Uh, I'm sorry, 3 quarter percent. So therefore, I don't, it doesn't kick off too soon because it's going to be warm today. And I think we're going to mix up probably a quart or a gallon. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, to make my peanut butter. I'm gonna start with a quart and just make sure my wife is here to help me if I need to mix up some more. But uh, so that way I've got plenty of time to work with it. And then as when I tighten it down, when it squishes out and runs over the edge, I'm gonna use my paint sticks and I'm gonna create that uh, filler around the edge. Therefore we have something like the fiberglass across. So anyway, uh, I'll see what do what I do my best to videotape it as I go. But uh, once that, that uh, uh, stuff starts to kick, man, I've got to get it glued on. So I'm going to start prepping. I'll keep you guys up to date. Okay, you can see that I've got all my pieces of wood cut properly and all my all thread laid out also ready to go. So uh, what you notice is I've got uh, them stacked on top of each other. So I've got the inside, the outside, the inside, the outside. So that way I know I've got everything cut. And then you can see I've got a little feet. So that way, and these things are off the, the, the transom in here, probably an eighth of an inch. And when you tighten it down, it will bend down, add pressure here, and then grab the, the clampage there. And then the bottom, I've got a tall and one standing on end. And I've got one laying down flat. Yeah, and I know I said not to do one of them laying flat, but what I'm going to do is it laying flat will give us a lot of clamping pressure up here, but not so much on the outside. And I've alternated them. Uh, so all I have to do now is drill through these... Um, these lengthwise and get them ready and then I'm starting to load everything in the boat so that way we can get it all ready to go and we don't have to fart around with uh, looking for stuff whenever we go to lay this thing. Okay well it's, uh, when I test fitted the transom this last time I just realized something that I need to do to make sure that I keep my I guess you call that it was a gabbard drain your drain plug or whatever clear. I've got a brass one in there with a thread in and this is exactly how the old transom was. It had kind of a, an arc over the, uh, the deal and there was not anything there. It just had basically a little bit of resin that was built up. So it, there's just nothing at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get me some three quarter inch PVC and cut it to, to lay in there and just let it sit there. And that way when I put this on here and you squeeze it in, we don't squeeze any of that uh, peanut butter down in there and block our drain. So that way it's nice and neat. And then uh, once it's kind of kicked, I can wiggle and pull that out. If it's a problem, it may not even be a problem, but uh, I'm just, I'm just want to make sure. And then also we're going to kind of peanut butter the stuff in here to make sure it's nice and, uh, and waterproof. So we'll kind of see how that goes when we, when we move forward. It is, it's almost there. That is, I think that's going to be really good. All right, good. Turn this way. Let me see that little pit, that little plastic piece.
we'll have some decent coverage. All right, so now we go to this side. Spread it out as evenly as, evenly as we can. We're going to have to mix up another batch uh, to go around the... Gotcha. No, it's it's not for this. It's for going around the the uh, the, ed, the perimeter. Which actually this stuff may squirt out anyway. <laughs> we'll see. I would think it would. You're not dictating as you're doing so that people know what you're doing. Well, I know, but my mind is kind of... Slap it all over it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Zachary, set this back there. All right. Andrew, it up yeah, it? we're just going to slide it up against there. Watch your, your clothes. All right. All right. There we go. Just like that. lined up really nice too. If you'll slide, yeah there you go. And then there's a nut and a bolt up here. A washer and a bolt? Yeah you're right. Washer and a nut actually. You need the wrenches over here? Let's slide it all the way down to the bottom as far as we can. There we go. You pretty level across there? Well, I mean, one end's resting on top of the trailer. All right. So Make sure it's touching the transom all the way across. You need some. It's hitting the boat on both sides. Okay, that's good. All right, next level. And uh, this one will go flat. And then uh, a shorter bolt to go through. Next one, which should be a fairly long one. Uh, what does it look like? Yep, that's it. You want to yeah, it needs to go through all. we got to watch for is whenever we all right where's my my wrench right here your wrench my wrench Done now. I mean, the hard part's over. Now it's got to put it all back together. Screw, screw things in, slap a little paint on it. Yeah, that's it. It's real easy. We can put a little outboard on here, a little trolling motor, and take it out like this. <laughs> little kicker? Yeah. <laughs> Should we find a pond? We can put it in, cruise around. Y'all have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting her in this boat. <laughs> Not until there's flotation in it. All right, so now I'm taking my spoon here, and I'm kind of smoothing around this little drain hole here. Plug your hole. Yeah. Alright, so 
Alright, I'm not going to mix with it too much. I'm going to let it go. Clean up. And uh, move on. Then I'll mix up another batch and we'll fill all this. There's a little spot right there. We'll crease it in there to we'll just keep creating these little fillets all the way around with these spoons. And then uh, we'll tab it in probably tomorrow. Wait for this to dry. Wow, it's been about two hours. Um, and I tell you, this stuff kicked off quicker than I thought it was going to. I mixed it at three quarter percent according to the, uh, the instructions. And uh, we actually, right as we were finishing up, it was starting to gel. Um, sorry I didn't videotape or dictate like I should have, but you know what, when you're working with stuff that kicks off quick, you move fast. Looks like my little thing down here worked out pretty good. Um, filled it in with peanut butter, really good and nice, and then that'll give us a spot to be able to come out with our 1708 to uh, tab in the transom. I'm really happy with how that turned out. And that means there's no wood anywhere close to where water would touch it. So there's no way that we can wick any more wood back in there. So now I've got a straight water exit out of my, uh, my Gabbard drain. So what I'm going to do now before uh, we have some guests coming over for dinner is I'm going to mix up some more peanut butter that I need to do to go around this top edge right here to fill in that to, to fillet it in. Uh, so that way it's ready for putting on tabbing tomorrow. Uh, and I, I tell you, I could probably pull these boards off, but I'm going to go ahead and leave them for right now. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to get some of this pookie in here and uh, get it done. All right, so I've mixed up some more of my peanut butter, which has a lot of chopped strain in it and a lot of cavasil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it to bridge these gaps. Um, so the, the fiberglass does not have the 1708 or whatever we're putting on here, doesn't have a lot that it has to to bridge across and create a nice smooth transition between the transom and the hull of the boat. And if you wanted to, you could probably um, you could probably uh, round off the edges of the transom, but I chose not to just because it'll it'll all be all right. It'll work out if you work it long enough. You'll be able to make those turns. So. That's what we're doing, we're just little by little putting this pookie in here. Try to make a nice smooth transition. If you don't and you have gaps, you're in trouble. All right, well, the uh, transom is completely uh, filleted in. Uh, it is ready for whenever this I take those boards off. I'm gonna take the uh, DA sander to it and sand it down really good, get all the little nibs, because wherever you, there's some places that there's some stuff sticking up, you need to make sure you knock all this down, but man, it dried nice, and I tell you, it kicked off quick. I used it on the lowest setting, and because it's so hot here, I mean, it's 85 degrees right now, uh, it even it kicked off within 15 minutes and that's on the lowest mixing it at three quarter compared to you got three quarter one percent one and a half and two percent I can only imagine what would happen if I mixed it at two percent but anyway uh, it's done I'm really really happy with how this turned out so I'm going to actually sand this all flush down here so therefore we can just run the uh, the 1708 right across it and that's what we're doing tomorrow gonna have another pretty day we should have this transom I'd say pretty much done as far as uh, tabbed in and, and uh, covered with the, with the mat. So we'll take all this off tomorrow and check it all out. But uh, I'm happy. I really was nervous about using this peanut butter. I was scared uh, about having to work so fast, but I had a neighbor come over and help me and uh, we slapped it in there. Really no issues whatsoever. So I'm happy. So well, I hopefully when we take this off, it doesn't all fly apart. You know how that goes. But anyway, that's uh, the update so far. And uh, I'll do another video tomorrow with the um, uh, with the, the uh, tabbing.